Hey there everyone, welcome to Technesia. In this video, I am going to show you how to create an organizational chart in Excel in less than 5 minutes. Let's get to it. Here is a list of people working in a company. To create an organizational chart is really simple. All you need to do is to go to the insert tab, go to insert a smart art graphic, select the hierarchy, I'm just going to select the first one. There. You can just maximize it. You can either type in the information one by one, but I like to do it another way. All you need to do is copy your list, select the chart and click on the left arrow here and first delete the information and just paste your data there now you've got all the names in this chart but they are at one level emily is the ceo and now we need to make the hierarchy from there on let's say that marcus works under emily all you need to do is to either click on this arrow here which is moving one level or you can go to a person's name and hit tab. So Marcus, Chloe and Javier work under Emily. Since everyone else now would work under these three, let's initially tab all of them. And now let's say that Samantha works under Marcus. So you can select Samantha and move them up a level. And once they're under Marcus, either we can click this arrow or push the tab button. And there, you can see that Samantha has now moved under Marcus. Let me put uh, Daniel under Marcus too. And let's say that Olivia works under Chloe. And now, Maxime works under Olivia. So I could put Maxime under Olivia and hit a tab button. And you can see now that Maxime is working under Olivia. Similarly, I can move Sibella under Javier, Liam under Javier, and Sophia working under Liam. Yeah. So you can see quickly we've changed an organizational list to a hierarchy chart. Here is a chart and you can format it many ways. All you need to do is go to the chart and go under the smart art design ribbon and you can select different types of options. You can also upload images if you need. Let's say we select this one and now you can change colors to have single accent. I like to go for colorful because it shows different levels and now once you're set you can now change the size and excel will then change the content inside to match the size you can then copy this and use it in powerpoint word or any other tool i hope that this tutorial was of use to you if you liked it please subscribe to my channel till next time 